Hi guys, welcome back to another tutorial on Ableton Live. <coughs> Today we're going to be talking about MIDI clips. So, in session view, you can insert a MIDI clip. Yeah? So this MIDI clip's one bar long. Yeah? And you can see the notes. Um, for this MIDI clip, I'll just load up a... A drum drum pack drums slow the drum rack up so we've got the drum rack so right Back to the MIDI clip. Now, this is just the name, so drums will name it up there, or you can press Command R to rename it there. Um, this is the key signature. The groove will go back to that. Right, notes. This is the note that you you're putting in. So if you're putting a kick yeah it'll show c1 because that's the kick and you can make it twice as long or shorten it and if you've got um, something there and you've got nothing selected you can invert so it will change them over and reverse or reverse it the program banks that's just for MIDI output you so if you're outputting MIDI to a, a drum machine or something you can select what bank and everything you want start end is just the start and end position of your MIDI clip loop is to turn the loop on and off and this is the position and length of the loop right so if we just click on the clip Now to work with clips, you can double click to enter um, to enter, or you could use the pen tool to enter, and you could go with a pen tool. You can go drag it across, but I prefer to use. Um, just a double click because it gives you 100 normally 100 percent that's if you've done this to 100 from the pen tool and you go back to double click everything will be 100 percent that you input so <clears throat> these are your velocities how loud you want the instrument, yeah. So that's your velocities. And say you're doing something like this a drum roll, right? A drum roll, and you want to increase the volume over it. You can hold the command key or control on a PC and drag and do as fade down like that but you've got to have them all selected so it's going to fade them see and that's how you fade them okay so that's basically midi clips for a drum rack um, there ain't really much else to it on a drum rack now we're going to go to um, an instrument um, and show you what we can do with the MIDI clips. So let's uh, choose um, just a basic organ. Okay, so there we go. We've got an organ sound. Yeah? Right, 
So we've got an organ sound. Yeah. Right. So if we, if we um, put some notes in, let's just say. So we've got some notes, right? You've got the same thing for your velocities. Right? And then you've got your envelope window. I mean, I've explained everything else. So if you go to your envelopes and you go to MIDI clip, you go pitch, bend, you can bend the pitch by drawing in envelopes. Now, this is bending probably two. So if we go down here and click here, um, See this here, pitch bend. It's, click, it's bending two semitones. So if you change this to 24, it'll go to 24 semitones or none. So it's bending 24 semitones now. So if you go back to your MIDI clip. So you've got your pitch bends. You've got other stuff in here as well as modulation. So you can change the modulation. Um, I don't really use these that much. Breath, foot pedal, you've got like... Um, your hold pedal for a piano. So you could hold the, so if you, if this note's smaller, right, and you have it on hold pedal, you can put your hold pedal up, and it'll hold it to the next note even though it's not on. So you can use that. hold pedal yeah and then you've got other stuff in here but I don't really bother with any of that because you can do everything else from elsewhere so stop that is that? Um, so that's basically it for your MIDI clips um, plus you can make your MIDI clip uh, longer so two times half yeah um, you can double the loop so it's that's one bar now it's two bars now it's four bars yeah and you could double the length of the notes half the length and double the length depending on what you got selected Double, double, half, half, yeah. So you can do that, um, and that's about it. That's basically MIDI clips. Uh, there ain't really much else to go over except for the um, the groove. Right, so the groove. Let's go back to uh, 
the jump rack. Oh, let's go back to the drum rack, yeah. So, as we got this up. That's a pretty computerized basic, but if you go to your groove pool, yeah, stop that a sec, go to your groove pool, you can give it some swing, right? So if I add that into my groove pool, so it's here, see, the notes play like that, and you can commit that and it will move your notes for you. You see, so that's your groove pull. But also, um, just go back so it's not committed. And you can select your groove pull here on your left hand side. And here's your pull and you can, you can base it on 16th or whatever notes you want, you can quantize or your timing or your, you can randomize certain notes. Uh, timing velocities velocities random So that's your groove pull. You can select different swings or grooves or whatever you want to call them. I mean you've got you've got loads of them here. Rock. So let's put that rock one in. Select it down here. Now let's play the track. It's just if you want to give uh, things a different feel like um, and then you can commit and it will move your notes and you can see the like the slightly off beat, you know, slightly off beat. So it just makes it like more random than like a computerized beat. Because when you just put them in normally and you've got no... Um, no difference, it's just quantized to each one. But when you, when you put a groove in changes the whole feel of it. So that's what you can use your grooves for. And if you want to remove a groove just click on it and press delete. Also guys, um, you can also set your grid here. You see this one sixteenth, this is every sixteenth you put in a note in. Um, if you change it to an eighth when you click, it'll put an eighth note in. Or if you change it to uh, 30 second notes. So you can set your grid here. So that's how you set the grid. Okay, that's about, about it for um, MIDI clips. I hope you learned something and I'll see you later.